Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F Bomb here at Nick Browing, and I got another package. And if you check out the title, you know what we're going to be looking at. But I've kind of gotten into these Mezco figures. Um, I've always been kind of into them. But you know, when you're when you're a kid, you see the stuff online. You don't got money for that. So now I finally do. So. I'm also working on making a custom one. There'll be a video on that later. And I'm going to be customizing this guy, and I'll get into that as I open it. But first, we got the cram. We're gonna open this thing. But the real question is, how do we open it? And it, yes, it's a good idea. Cut toward you, right? You always want to cut toward you. No, don't do that. isn't the way to go. I was fortunate enough, uh, so these, which way do you open this damn box? I'm gonna have you do your box. Whoops. Um, I was fortunate enough to get this off of eBay at original shelf value. Like if I would have bought this when it first came out. I think, anyway, because the last one that came out, uh, the newest version of a Batman Mezco that came out, cost a certain amount of money. And I paid a couple of dollars cheaper. And that also included shipping. So, really, the newest one that just came out, I would have still spent more money on that one than this one used. And usually, that's when you're... Oh God, there's so much styrofoam. Jesus, you make a mess. Usually, if you get shelf price and you don't, and you don't spend more money than like the current version, you're kind of winning there. Let's put the ramp away. Let's go ahead and get this out. Jesus. Oh, there's not that much stuff. There's just this one piece. Thank you. Hades cat saw that. He's gonna want to play. Oh, you know what's going to be cool about this? Ooh. So this big box can go. I've never used big packaging tape, uh, big bubbles with the cats. So now that that's here, let's get this out. Shit. Yeah, here we go, baby. The Batman Mezco 112th Ascending Knights. I really wanted a, a different Batman, but I figured this was cheap. Let me get this too. The other Batman, I'm having trouble finding. So, ooh, box is nice. I'm actually gonna keep the box. I may even keep the plastic in the box. This is. This looks pretty cool. Cool box. Zoom out a little more. Yeah, nice box. I got the regular one. I thought about getting the blue one, but I'm going to get the blue one for the other figure I want. Here's the Mezco brand with their little man on there. Here's our posed pictures. We got the, a Bruce Wayne head that comes with this. Some cool shots. Here's our figure itself. This is like his basic original outfit. And I wasn't feeling that, and then I'm like, eh, let me get one. I'm going to be doing something with these gloves. I'm going to be trying to paint these purple in a future video. But as we can see on the box, you got a big old Batarang. Heavy Assault Bat Brick. God, that thing looks mean. He's got some Batarangs. He's got a grapple hook and a crossbow with trank darts. Don't remember this ever being used whatsoever. But let's go ahead. Let's open this. Ooh, cool. Here's our figure. You can see inside. Okay, it's got the 112. Here's our... I forget this guy's name. He's got a silly name. It's like Cosmo or something, but it's not Cosmo. So let's open it. It's still got the Mezco stuff. Play. Pose play. Display. Right. 
Well, it still has tape on a lot of the parts. That came off nice. This had tape up here. That's weird. Or some cellophane. Interesting. I'm going to look at this Bruce Wayne head. So, unfortunately, this is smaller than I was expecting. Bruce Wayne's still in some of his... It's not even... I wonder if the plastic's really just wrapped up like that. Ooh, has the new toy smell. Wow, this is actually painted way better than the pictures that I saw. Here's Bruce's head. And the light's really bright on this photo. But the cat, the painting, I don't know how it's going to come up on my camera. In natural light, this actually looks really better. This is kind of washed out here with a lot of white on it. But in the natural light, this looks really good. And I'll have to take some pictures of that later. It actually looks really good. I have to move the plastic. We have his hands, and these are the things that I'm going to be messing with. So let's just look at one. Very generic biker glove hands. Seems like my camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing on it. It's pretty generic glove design. Ooh, it's nice and textured though on the palm. Even the fingers have like those knuckles. It's got those knuckles built into it. They look really pretty. And then the hand, the palms actually have like a texture on them. That's pretty cool. This hand, I, I've seen, you put batarangs in the hands. But I want to paint these purple. And I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, I'm not going to open all of these batarangs. Maybe I'll just show one. Kind of sticky cellophane. Oh, wow. They're actually, this is actually tape. Hey, you know what? That's a better move than probably, unless that's how Mezco did it tape them in because I I've heard these get lost easily here's the tiny batarang as you can see it is just tiny plastic it's painted really nice or if it's not painted it's just sculpted nice let's go get that hand I don't think I'm going to be using these batarangs in the hand no that's you know, so the idea is if you want to pose him throwing the batarang you can put it in his hand like he's ready to whiz it out there I'm not going to be doing that yet. I'm going to have to be careful when I spray paint this if these are supposed to be able to go back in. And even spray painting the hands, that itself is going to be a challenge. Here's a little dart. Tart gauntlet. Bat themed, looks cool. He just holds it like that and just shoots out. Good sound effects, right? Here's a grapple gun. And what I love about Mezco is all their grappling hooks for this series of Batman, they all go through an upgrade. And since this, this is the earliest one, this is the most basic one. You could tell with the design that it's supposed to have like the line of grapple material here. Here's like the wheel in, the pulley. This looks pretty cool. This actually looks like good Star Wars pistol. I may use this in some of my Star Wars art. And it comes with a bunch of the hooks. It's got three hooks. One hook you put in there. One hook just goes in. Whenever my camera feels like focusing on it, maybe we'll see it this year, maybe not. Ooh, now I'm having trouble. One hook just goes in the top. That looks cool. And to make it easy, there's even this groove in the top to help it go in there. One hook goes all the way in, like he's about to fire it. And that looks cool. And it fits in there nice and tight. And the other hook, and this is probably how you know this has been used, because the, the string's all loose. Yeah, that's right, I said string. So the other hook, you put this little nubby in the grappling hook. Stuff it in there. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there it goes. So it, the rope fits in snug, and then there's a decent amount... There's like maybe half a foot of string that go in with the grappling hook. And it's pretty much the same hook that was before, except now it's got a knot on the end. Let's see how difficult it is to take that out. I should just be able to pull on the string. Yep, that wasn't bad. Alright, let's see this quote-unquote bat brick. So I don't know exactly if he throw this, or if this is just like a grapple to hit people with. It also hinges shut. This kind of reminds me of the one from pr the, the Predator fan film. 
and everyone's been impressed that I've seen review this that it's got separate hinges right so that way you you really have to play with it to make it flush but that's a big mess a big nasty piece of work let's go ahead let's get our boy out Ooh. so he's in here there's some cellophane his cape is wrapped up we have our stand which is just a plain old stand there's something underneath it all right so we have a mezco one the official stuff we got the stand pieces some wires to help the cape sit up and we have two nine silicone yeah we have our stand how plain is our stand our stand is just a straight up piece of plastic it looks a little scuffed but it looks fine too put a stand back put the cellophane back too I'm not going to be posing him with that let's look at our mans it's a little disappointing this only has one head I thought this came with more than just one head here's our boy he's got it loosely wrapped around him this looks really cool now this cape is not coming out as easy as I thought that was a little tricky I'm going to maneuver some stuff around real fast well I've seen a lot about this figure and what's interesting yeah I don't have a light box or anything so the one head is a little disappointing uh, but I'll have to live with that you know the fabric actually feels really nice it's like silky smooth in those other parts and then the rubber parts feel fine the bats like fused there the head looks good it moves a little bit you get a little bit of articulation here and there the muscles actually feel really solid underneath this. It's really interesting. He's got good articulation in his legs. They go up. He's got like the triple knee joints. And the knee pad actually sits pretty well on there. He's got ankle joints. Which makes making a custom figure really tough. Because it's hard to find a 112th figure that has ankle joints or a 112 boot that has ankle joints you know the cape fits fine it feels really good uh, it's got some crimpage to it so I have to survive but a lot of people get, uh, make custom capes this fits good I always like that look in the in like the cartoon and stuff where it just like rested all the way down I wish more movies would ha would use this look where it's like you don't really see the bat suit. It's just him walking around like this. I really like that. The ne the cowl looks good, the neck looks good. There's even some extra detail in his head. You can see there's like some make here. It's like it's not just rubberized. It is the helmet version even though it's a very basic one. Um, the neck's got some armor. You can see that painting. If we get closer here. His muscles are actually sticking through. You could see some definition there. It's really cool. Belt looks great. And this is also how you know it's the original suit, the circle. Back looks cool. Even that's a cool design. You can see they stitch it up from the rear. And uh, you could put the bat grapple or I think the bat brick in there. And you can see even the muscles here. Ugh, too bad I can't get that buff. But yeah, this is a really cool figure. What's going to make this difficult for me doing what I want to do is I could take the hands off. The hands come off no problem. But if I want to do this purple, I'm either going to have to duct tape the hell out of this thing or find a way to take the bat thing off. Now, it looks like someone has messed with this. I mean, it is used, and I don't know if that's from him, like, moving him, but I could see the bat cowl kind of punctured the suit a tiny bit. I mean, the bat symbol. So that's a little disappointing. But it's got good, good range of movement. Can't complain. And I guess I should find out, how difficult is it to take the hand off? That's no problem. And it's easy to put back on.
but this wrist that's going to make my customizing annoying and I'll make it in my own video about that about the customization and the head no problem really easy and again the sculpt's fine we got the wide eyes which is always how I think Batman needs to be those classic comic wide eyes I'm not the biggest fan of long ears but for this suit it has to be long ears right because it's when he's first going out fighting crime now this is a little difficult that was a little tough getting on and I wonder if this is even the original one for this outfit because this head the Bruce Wayne head it looks good on my camera's even like oh yeah it's a face it looks good on and he he can twist a little bit but if you look from the back you could see it's not really that great from that side but the head sculpt looks great it's just it doesn't fit so well here and oh, I'm stuck on the other curse too that I run into is this is oh, the back cow just stabbed me in my hand these things are sharp the other curse I have is that this is like the first model so any mistakes and stuff that they've made and decided to change with the designs would not be in this suit in fact the later versions of their Batman figures the newest ones these are magnetic and you could take them off but I like this this is cool it gives me a good idea for like where I want to go with my my custom Batman <laughs> stand Bruce you can do it yeah I really I, I do like this this is cool everyone's always happy when they review it that the cape can like fold back that's Batman right there 100%. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm the F-Bomb here in Nick Rowan. I'm going to take some pictures now. Come back. Be a friend. We love friends.